Hi guys, welcome back to the Angela Rosie channel. How are you feeling today? Are you feeling good? I think you are. So now let's read the story, The Pirate Pie Ship. Chapter 1. The Planktown Pirates were tired. They were tired of scaring sailors. They were tired of chasing other ships. They were tired of digging for treasure. And most of all, they were tired of fighting their pirate rivals, the gruesome crew. I feel like trying something new, sighed Captain Cuttlefish. But what? asked Manta Ray Jack, the ship's first mate. Being pirates is all we know, moaned Corner, the cabin boy. Cook Cockles watched the crew slumped in despair. He decided to cook the captain's favorite, octopus and seaweed pie, for lunch. This pie will have you think of ideas, said Cook Cockles. He served up a steaming slice of pie for the captain. Captain Cuttlefish ate a mouthful of pie, then he ate another. A twinkle came into his eyes as he looked around at the crew gobbling down their lunch. That's it, he cried. The crew looked up, but they didn't stop eating. Your delicious pies are the finest on the seven seas, the captain told Cook Cockles. We can sell them in the port and make our fortune. The crew cheered and raised their mugs of lemonade. Here's to the Plankton Pirates Pie Ship bellowed Captain Cuttlefish. Now, let's get making pies. Chapter 2 For the rest of the day, the pirates worked hard catching fish. In the galley, Cook Cockles turned the crew into trainee chefs. They chopped and scraped and stirred and baked. Soon, the first batch of pies was ready. Set sail for the port, shouted the captain. Full speed ahead! The crew leaped into action. Corner the cabin boy had painted the pirate pie ship in big letters on the larger sail. The skull and crossbones had been taken down and a new flag was flying. As the ship sailed into the port, a large group of hungry sailors was waiting. The smell of delicious pies wafted over the port, and the sailors raced across and jostled into a line. Today's specials are anchovy and algae pie, and sardin and seagrass pie, shouted Manta Ray Jack. Rolled up, rolled up, three gold coins for a pie. Soon, the pirates had sold every single pie, and the sailors were begging them to come back the next day. Captain Cuttlefish sat on the deck and counted coins. This beats digging for treasure. We'll soon be rich, the crew cheered. None of the pirates noticed the gruesome cruise ships sailing silently into the port, and nobody noticed they were being watched through a telescope. Chapter 3. The next morning, the happy pirates set to work making more pies. At midday, they set sail for the port again. They could see another line of starving sailors waiting for them. But as they got closer to the port, another ship appeared from behind the cliff and sailed speedily up to the hungry sailors. My telescope! Now! shouted Captain Cuttlefish. He held it to his eyes and stared at the other ship. Curses and barnacles, he roared. It's the gruesome crew. Their ship has always been faster than ours. Captain Cuttlefish looked more closely. He could see the gruesome fish and chip ships painted on the side of the enemy ship. The gruesome crew were laughing as they served up huge plates of fish and chips to the line of eager customers. Their leader, Captain Sharkfin, was counting piles and piles of gold and silver coins. Sail faster, shouted Captain Cuttlefish. But by the time the Planktown pirates reached the port, all the sailors had licked their plates and gone. There wasn't a single customer left. This means war, Captain Cuttlefish shouted at the gruesome crew as their ship drew alongside their jeering enemies. You never win, 
sneered Captain Sharkfin with an evil laugh. Chapter Four. The next morning, the pirates set to work catching fish and making pies again. Corner, the cabin boy jumped in the rowing boat and set off for the port. When he arrived, he put up a sign saying "Mullet and Kelp Pie" and stood holding a large empty basket. The hungry sailors saw Corner's sign but were disappointed that he had no pies to sell. Your pies are the most delicious food around," said one sailor, "and the gruesome crew aren't very friendly. But we're all so hungry by lunch time. We'll always eat the fish and chips if they get here first." And sure enough, at midday, the gruesome crew's ships sailed swiftly into the port. The smell of chips blew in on the wind, and the sailors started to line up. Chapter Five. Wait. Shouted Corner, waving a flag. Boom! The sailors all turned to see what the noise was. Boom! Out at sea, the Plankton pirate ship was firing its cannons right at the port. Boom! Boom! Corner held up his basket and started to catch the piping hot pies that were being fired from the ship. They smelled delicious. The sailors gasped and turned back to Corner, who happily handed out pies and took gold coins. The gruesome crew could only watch as all the sailors munched on the hot pies. Then they looked up at their ship's mast. The pies had shot straight through the sails, and they were in tatters. The gruesome crew wouldn't be sailing anywhere for a while. As the sailors munched the last of their pies, the Plankton pirates sailed cheering into the port. Captain Cuttlefish was holding up another huge pie, chocolate and cherry pie for everyone. He shouted, and all the sailors jumped aboard for pudding. That's the end of the story. Thank you for listening, and see you in the next video.